Okay, <laughs> yay, hi friends. I'm Jenna Neal and welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about Fossil brand and do an update video on the Camilla backpack. So before I get started, please click that like button. Uh, really helps me out. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get more videos every week, please click that notification bell and yay, we can hang out every week. If you're interested in seeing the full details, of my first video, don't judge. Please check it out, it's my first video. That's all I gotta say about that. Oh, but I really wanted to do an update video because I really love this bag. I've recently been on a lot of sites. I look at bags a lot, if you didn't notice, and curious about what other people think and what other people use. I thought this was a really cool bag and I'm surprised that there's not a lot of videos on it. A lot of people say this is a perfect planner bag and I mean, it's just, it looks so sleek and great and it helps me to see stay minimal and this bag it doesn't hold a lot so it helps me to not overpack I can be a really bad overpacker I like to organize things so this is a take what you need style it is large however I don't feel like it holds a lot of items it might be just long in the context that could hold your laptop I don't think it's large but there are smaller versions if you're interested right now fossil has some good sales I love fossil in their sales so if you are not not familiar with this brand I recommend checking it out and I am surprised about the backpack straps I tried using it as a knitting bag and that didn't really work as well as I wanted it to with a laptop so there's that option however when I had the straps it wasn't the straps didn't work for me so as you can see I've opted for a really bright strap I thought it looked really good the colors together and I loved it so just changing the strap on the bag really changed the bag for me. I will show you the straps. It does come with backpack straps. If you watch my other videos, you'll notice I don't like these kind of straps. I'm not a fan of the, the weird. I haven't figured out how to get these to lay flat or not like that and I was always having a problem of sticking my arm through the wrong spot or they're not sleek. I want more of like the seatbelt strap or the ones that don't bend and get in the way. So there's that, I didn't like that. Also, I thought this was really strange and it made it hard to use it as a crossbody strap. So one end has the lovely claw clasp, you see that? Love this. The other end, however, has a weird buckle context. I don't know if that is designed to lay flat on your back, but it is weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's odd. I don't know, I thought it was odd. I don't, it's a clasp over, which makes it weird for my OCD to wanna do this crossbody. So I don't like that. And I wasn't sure when I first did my video if I would like these straps. And I wasn't wrong because I feel like they got worse, not better. I tried hanging it for a while, just hanging it by the straps to straighten them out, but it's not working as you can tell. So I'm not a fan of these. Okay, pause, I could change my battery. Urgh! All right, so backpack straps. There is an option to do backpack. You can also use the backpack straps as a cross body strap. And this is what I'm talking about, the weird. One side clips on and one side has this. You have to fold it over. So as you can see, this is great. It looks sleek and cool if all of the straps look like that. But then you have this, okay, totally poking with my OCD. We got this sticking out and then we have a clip. It doesn't match, I'm sorry. It's weird. How am I supposed to make that work? I don't know, I don't know. If you're like me and you want it the sleek end to match, I really recommend buying another strap. The simple, thin, weird straps, I feel like make the bag look cheap. And this isn't a cheap bag and it is very, very nice. So find yourself a good strap and then it just repurposes and changes its back immensely. All right, so love this. Look how pretty it is. So we have the key, it says fossil on it. Like I love the simple. I keep it on the front and then the logo is down at the bottom. Awesome. I love that it's hidden right there. That's fantastic if it's embossed, whatever, but it's simple. It's not all over the bag. You can get your initials on the bag. I didn't know if I'd like it, so I did not to do that. So you can see there's no markings on here. I figured if I wanted to resell it, nobody would want JMN on there. So there's that and then the straps these straps do not come off But I feel like they add a little bit so I can hold it. They're reinforced pretty see I do have a, a short upper body and really long legs 
So bags look, might look different on me if you're under 5'9". So just gauge at appropriately for your body type. Then the strap you can see in detail if you're interested where I got it. I also have the other videos for the Brie Brielle bag, Modern and Chic website. You can check those out. The bottom does not have feet, but it is reinforced. So I do like that. The back has the strap. So if you do find some really good backpack straps, you could clip them on here. Um, and I love that they're removable. So some of the bags, like they don't remove from the top and you have to hide them in the back. It just adds weight if you're not using it. So I love the feature that I can add or remove these because I don't like their straps. So therefore that that's awesome. Then on the back, there's a hidden pocket and it doesn't go the full length of the bag. So you can see it goes to right here. And this is where I'm keeping my wallet. So in today's times, they're not really taking cash at the moment. So I, it's okay to tuck it deep in there. So there's that. Oh boy, kids, kid alert, kid alert, ah, kid alert. Let's just flip the camera around so you can really get into the bag and see my crazy. Oh, check that out, check out that color. This is the Fossil Camilla backpack. Beautiful, I love their leather. They say this is not a luxury brand, but it's affordable for one, and it's good looking. I'm sorry, it's good looking. Now, the top has a zipper, which I love when we're dealing with coats or anything that I have to put on my shoulder. If I bend over, everything always topples out. All right, so it does have the zipper that goes all the way out. This drives me nuts with my OCD because it's not balanced, but I do like the option that I can tuck it down. So if I do leave it open when I'm carrying it, it's not perusing around out. All right, so I've packed this pretty simple. I have the Clever Fox Planner. It's a large end of the planners. You might like that. I also, this is weird, but because I have so many different planners, I use this small jujube set piece for the washi tape holder, and then I can have the large washi tape, which I love this one. I buy multiple rolls of this, this style, but there's also these small ones that work really well in this planner. So I can tape through the lines if I want to, and it just adds fun. Um, and then I have it all together. So if I want to switch bags, I have it ready to go. However, I really like this bag for this, so I'm using it. It fits neatly in this front pocket right here. I think it might be for a cell phone, but you have the pocket where I keep all my washi tape. And then this, of course, something Harry Potter. Yeah, I love this. It came with a set. I think it's for like makeup and traveling. I love this. This is my favorite pack out of every one that I own. It's not, it's not really a name brand. It's just Harry Potter. <laughs> I use this a lot. I love that I can see in here. So I know that I have my planner pen for my days. I have my journaling pens and then I have every color that you could imagine to stick in here. I can automatically see I don't have my bullet journal pens in here. So I can grab it. I can be like, ah, I'm missing a pen. Go and get the pens. Um, so this is awesome. If you like planning, I love just to be able to see. I have a couple of those where I can see what's in the bag right away. So that works. And then if you are interested, I know this is weird. This is an Azaria clutch. It is a diaper bag brand. However, I love how sleek it is, how simple it is. This I use for a lot. So I have these in a multiple colors. You can check out my other video where I go over these in detail, um, not specifically this one actually. Well, they do a lot of pink, so if you're not into pink, you might not like that. But I love that they have a zipper pocket here. I can also throw my washi tape in there, but I, right now I'm doing the flags, so love that aspect. And I also have another pack inside my pack. I'm now packing with packs. And then I also have a book. I like having the packs that hold the books. So if I'm switching bags, I have everything together and I can just switch the pack and not have to worry about it. I do also transition from this one to the one you can see with the book so that I know what book I'm grabbing because there are multiple books that I have each week. All right, Azaria diaper bag clutch, which I think is weird because I definitely wouldn't use such a nice pack for a diaper bag clutch, but 
there's that option too. The inside of the bag is just long and skinny and narrow. There's a zipper pocket back here that you could put like your, I could put my washi tape in there on my pens and or the backpack straps and then that's it. It's just very simple. All right, so I love this strap. I use it for side bag. It's super sleek and thin that I can put it on my shoulder and go with it. I love that aspect of this bag a lot because it's thin, doesn't hold a lot, so therefore it's not heavy at all. It's one of my lighter bags, which I love too. Love that about it. I love too that I can use this strap to cross body the bag. Cross body. get into it easily enough or if you don't want to carry it with a strap it does work really well this way it's nice it won't fit on my shoulder easy bag to carry on my hand or at my side all right now for the crazy so I made it here and then backpack option love it just you got a lot of this going on I mean they don't sit very nicely they just have a mind of their own but other than that I love the bag yay there you have it this is the Camilla yay thank you so much for watching my video I'm Jenna Neal and if you haven't taken a minute to hit that like button please do so scroll down smash that like button Really appreciate it. Hope you liked this video. If you're not subscribed, take a minute to subscribe. I look forward to our next video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Yay! Doo -doo -doo bag. I love it. Ooh. Okay, yep, for real. Bye. Even work. Okay, I got this piece of hair right here that drives me nuts. Like, who has baby hairs of my age? Yeah, but it should not baby hairs growing and sticking out like the weird. Okay, so back to Let's say hi. Hi. Make sure you forgot to tell you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and like and leave a comment. Good and job. and go check out her Twitter account and Instagram account Jenna M Neal. Good job, look at you. You are so professional. I love it. <laughs> All right, good I'm job. Professional. You are. You're amazing. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Bags. All right. So pause. Pause. How am I supposed to tell that? I have no idea how to use a camera. So there's that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez, Almighty. Today is one of those days, it's like weird, it's weird. I've been up since dark 30 and have done nothing. I'm Jenna Neal. No, no, I got dressed. I brush my teeth, whatever. Yay, okay. <laughs> redo, redo. Gosh, I can't remember what I say. Good thing my channel is named after me because otherwise I think I might forget. <laughs> Hi friends, <laughs> I'm Jenna Neal and welcome back to my channel. Hi friends, I'm Jenna Neal and today I'm going to talk about a fossil specific to the large convertible backpack in color, I don't know, oops, sorry. Okay, this is just not my day. Today's not my day, I just don't know why. It's a weird day, I wanted to film yesterday and well, by the time I got around to actually wanting to film, like making my bed, it was like dark, so that didn't work out either, so. And then, yep, I don't know. This is why my videos are so long. Hi, I'm, no, 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 no. All right, do over, ready? Hi friends, I'm Jenna Neal and welcome back to my channel. I, all right, what am I gonna say? I don't even know. <gasps> Join my frustration, yay. How hard is this, how hard is it? And there's that and, and months later, I'm still at home. And then there's that. At least I brushed my hair today. I got dressed today. This is gonna be awkward. I've, oh, shut up. Sorry kiddos if you're watching. No. 
I don't want to say a bad word. Oh, those are weird. Oh, those are crazy. Whatever, I don't care. Yes, I'm wearing my nice jacket at my house. Whatever, I'm not going anywhere. Kick myself. Oh my gosh, bang my head on the desk. Alright, got it. I'm done venting, I think. Shh. Yes, I have a lot of eggs, but I didn't buy it. Yeah, I mean, oops, darn it. I didn't know about it. Haven't seen my other video, please check it out. Don't judge. It was my first video. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Alright, so first off. Oh wait, no, they don't come off. Oh, I feel better about it. Yay, I feel better about it. So there's that. But anyways, kid alert. Oh my god. Okay, my turn. And my turn. Yes, there's that. Yeah. Tick tock. Wait, four hours of looking at bags. Well, that was the point. <laughs> I'm in a funky mood. I'm done rambling. 